welcome to this special edition of the 90 second update. This week we have an extra offering for you as we wanted to do a special programme to focus on Armed Forces Week. Armed Forces Week runs from 21st of June through to the 27th of June with Armed Forces Day falling on Saturday the 26th. Armed Forces Day is a chance to show your support for the men and women who make up the Armed Forces community. Locally, we have the Atherson Veterans Contact Point located at Alexandra Court on Princess Road. We spoke to Tam, a peer mentor from the centre and a veteran himself, who is busy in the centre in Denison organising their own Armed Forces Day event to tell us more on what they can do at the centre. Hi, my name is Tam. I'm a veteran. I served in the Coldstream Guards for six years, serving in the 1991 Gulf War. Throughout time, I've had help and support from the Veterans Contact Point based in Nuneaton. I wanted to give back, so I started to run a Veterans Hub in Aviston on behalf of the VCP. I am now a senior peer support worker helping other veterans move forward with their lives. We have, we have operated safely through COVID-19, working throughout all lockdowns. The Veterans Contact Point will continue to move forward in helping and supporting our veterans and their families. We also had the opportunity to speak to Craig Tracy MP to find out a little more about Armed Forces Day. It's great to hear from Tam at the Veterans Contact Point. I've been out and worked with him on several occasions and seen the fantastic work that he does working with veterans and you know he's an amazing guy and I can't think of anybody better in that role to be to be doing that job. So thank you Tam for all the work that you do for the Veterans Contact Point. This week is Armed Forces Week and it's an opportunity to recognise the work that our servicemen and women, our veterans and families of, of serving personnel and veterans and also our cadets do in our communities. And I think, you know, we, we often think about this in terms of conflict and battle zones, but once again we've seen them come to the fore during the recent COVID pandemic as being part of the front line response to it in terms of helping with vaccinations and organisation and logistics and we see the wide range of skills that they bring to the role. So I know the constituency has a really proud tradition of thanking our servicemen and women and our veterans but this is just an extra opportunity to say that thanks once again. So if you do know anybody who has served, is serving, their families and also our cadets just make sure that you take the time to thank them during this week for their service because it's just such an amazing part of our British culture. And so on behalf of me, I would like to thank them all and wish you all a very happy Armed Forces Week. As well as the great work Tam is doing at the VCP, he doesn't stop there. He's also doing a sponsored walk to raise money for the group. Your contribution will make an impact, whether you donate as little as one pound, anything will help. You can find the link to Tam's fundraiser page in the description below should you wish to support this worthwhile course. Well that's it again for this week. Please do show your support for Armed Forces in any way you can. If you have any good news stories that you'd like us to feature in the 90 second update, please get in touch on the details listed above. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you soon and stay safe guys!